Yo yo, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? This is Dimash, aka Bob Wright. Grammy trashed the the useless Hidden Dimension album. Now we are being forced to listen to songs like this. Just listen. Just listen, yo. Wait. This one. This one be song. Die. What's up, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? Still boys out with a new song, what he calls uh, JJJ or JJJ. <laughs> the song is trending. As I speak to you right now, if you go to YouTube, JJJ or JJJ is trending number one in terms of music. You, the whole BIM Nation empire, they are shaking and jubilating because they think Epo Ganyu has successfully revived his dead music career. But look, this song, as I told you guys earlier on, it's an overrated, overhyped media song that is getting the numbers. The fact that a song is getting the numbers doesn't mean nothing because we all know that Stoneboy is known for doing what? Is it Afro dancehall or Afro reggae? And today we are listening to a different tune. You Grammy trust the Afro dancehall or whatever. So he knows that he doesn't have any future over there. He's now running back to what we call Afro Mapuka. That's why. <laughs> That is why someone is telling me because this one, ah, I don't. I'm struggling to just comprehend the idea behind the whole thing. Uh, a nice video shot somewhere, and he's using you know big big body girls and so to hide the whole thing. That is why. <laughs> that is why the song is running. My name is Dimashan, aka Bob Bright. Huh? Customized jersey, customized jersey. Check that out. You see the thing? I always like to speak with the facts. This song, according to. Yakub Siambos, Yakub Siambos is accusing Stoneboy of actually sampling someone's music. And that is what, screw face, let me read it out to you guys. I don't want to just be talking too much without evidence. Let's go. So Siambos says Shatterwell and his fans, they are blasting Stoneboy because of several things related to the song. The song is not 100% original. That is what sources are telling me right now because he allegedly sampled Screwface, there is this guy called Screwface, and Stoneboy went to sample that song, and then he's getting all the hype again. And it, 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 it looks like ah, <laughs> it looks like he's feeling bossy. <laughs> but what is this song going <laughs> to take his career to? Is it is it the <laughs> Stoneboy? Chatawale will release Kupa or Beku Beku, then you complain. But Stoneboy drafts this, and the media is glorifying this. Mediocrity, I take that again. The media is glorifying this mediocrity. The whole thing uh, is only the beat, the beat no, has an African root. So it is the beat that did the whole magic. You Nobody know, say Stoneboy uh, performed an extraordinary uh, stand in the song. He didn't do anything that meaningful. What kept the song trending is the beat. The beat is catchy. Do you understand? That is the whole idea. Nothing special about that song. Even Samini that got the Stoneboy's uh, godfather lashed out at his fans because they were trying to compare this Jejereje or Jejereje to Shatter Wallace's successful Suffer album. And Samini's like, yo, never try to put me in that tight corner because I can never say Shatter Wallace's Suffer album is not successful. Do you understand? So put that at the back of your mind because. Samini Dagati, he gave us an epic response for people trying to compare just one hit single eh, to some extent and they are comparing it to a whole album. I mean, how, how naive can we be to think of that? Do you understand? Oh, wait a minute. Just for funny So there's, there's nothing uh, particular exciting about the whole thing. It's just the beat that is from African roots and they are glorifying. Hey, Stoneboy, people are even saying Stoneboy is he's a proper artist. If you go check the comment section, eh, the amount of. <laughs> you see, this is how people manage to inflate Stoneboy's ego. Because we are trying to glorify Nonfa. This Bola song. <laughs> Bola song is getting this attention. And <laughs> it sounds so funny. Yakubi CM boss. Big shout out, you understand? <laughs> Samini made his stance clear, so I don't even need to talk much. The song is, is trending everywhere, but you know, 
it doesn't mean that Efo Ganyo <laughs> actually knows what he's doing. In fact, I call it a, a directionless project because this song has kept me confused because I'm not struggling to actually explain what, what direction is Stoneboy going. Is this what we are supposed to be expecting from the next album, which has already failed in advance? <laughs> so yeah, big shout out to all the fans. Um, Jay Freezer, <laughs> as for Shatter Princess, she know they in the hood, she know they in the hood again, so you see the thing. But nevertheless, the Martian Empire, it keeps growing large, you see the thing. So, big shout out to all the fans, uh, we expecting more content from the Martian team because we do it like no other, you see our thing. As for the, the media overhype, <laughs> nonsense, <laughs> this song will not cross any border. It's just gonna get played for a few days, a few, a few, a few weeks, and becomes what dead silence. Oh, Charlie, stop that thing, crowd. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Dimashin, aka Bob Wright. So, catch you guys. You know how we do it.